Hey, my beautiful family, it's Adam here with a video. Today is Wednesday, June the 1st, 2022, and as always, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Feel free to share this video, it truly helps out a lot. Family, I'm on here to bring you some encouragement today. I'm telling you, man, Jesus is coming soon. Before we get into the video, I'm going to give you the scripture right here. Now, I know a lot of us already know this scripture right here. This is really the go-to scripture for the rapture. And it comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 16-18. And this is what the word of God says. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, family, that's our blessed hope right there. The title for today's video is, A 2022 Rapture of the Church is Looking Very Possible. Family, let's get right into this video. So, family, I want to bring you all some encouragement today. It seems like the enemy is attacking the body of Christ and trying to make us doubt the Lord's returning for us. Family, I promise you, the Lord has not forgotten us. We could very well be meeting the Lord in the air here in 2022. We're seeing the tribulation begin to set its shadow here on the earth. And Bible prophecy is converging like never before. The birth pains are becoming more frequent and more intense. This world is literally screaming the intimate return of Jesus. Now, family, I believe Jesus will return exactly 2,000 years after his resurrection. And when I say return right there, I'm talking about the second coming, not the rapture, when he actually touches back down on earth. Now, most people believe that Jesus resurrected in the year 29 or 30 AD. Let's do some simple math. 29 plus 2,000 would be 2029. 30 plus 2,000 would be 2030. We know the world still has to endure the time of Jacob's trouble a.k.a. the tribulation, a.k.a. Daniel 70th tweet. Now, I know the church is what's holding the beast system back. We're the restrainer. Once the restrainer is taken up, then it's game on. While we're with the Lord, the world will literally face hell on earth. And the restrainer, the church, is about to be removed. That's why the world we live in is in the condition it is in. That's why we're seeing so many earthquakes, wars, violent attacks, pestilences, so much mocking, the push towards globalism, and so much more. The world's getting ready for the tribulation, and we're getting ready to meet the Lord in the air. We're not the same as them, are we? So family, today, this is what I want you to get out of this and what I want you to remember. We have every reason to keep looking up. The Bible is literally playing out before our eyes. Our blessed hope is fastly approaching. The devil knows it as well. That's why he's attacking believers like never before. But I want you to remember this, all right? We have authority to trample on serpents, and the devil is under our feet. Tell him to kick rocks that you are a child of the Most High God. Family, we have truly reached the end. Look at the world. Look at the condition of the world. Any day now, that trumpet's going to sound. The Lord's going to descend. The dead in Christ are going to raise first. Then us who are alive and remain are going to meet the Lord in the air. And all the trials and tribulations of life, they're not going to matter no more when you meet your Lord and Savior in the air. Family, stay strong and keep on looking up because Jesus is coming soon. And that's why the message of the gospel is so important in these end times. Family, the gospel is simple. We find the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. According to scripture, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus never once sinned. At the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry. And in three years, Jesus changed the entire world forever. And he did, because here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still talking about Jesus. At the age of 33, Jesus loved us enough to go on the cross and spill his perfect, innocent blood for the mission of our sins. My sins, your sins, your best friend's sins, your great-grandma's sins, everybody's sins. Jesus did it all on the cross. And Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, no tomb could hold our Messiah. He ascended to be with the Father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what are we looking for? It's that Titus 2.13 blessed hope. And world events and Bible prophecy are screaming the intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, hang in there. The finish line is in sight. We're going home soon. 
Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. On this channel, you guys are truly more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I want to thank you all for watching the videos and sharing them, man. You guys are such a huge blessing to me. And if any of you need a free Bible, email me at feedtreewatchman at gmail.com. I'd be happy to get you a free Bible. I think everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Amen. If you feel led to contribute to what we're doing on this channel, check the description box below. There's ways you can donate. It helps out a ton. It helps us send the Bibles and it helps us on our mission to show Christ's love to the homeless. And you know we got that Chicago trip coming up so continue to pray for us. Till next time watching out and signing out. I love you guys and keep on looking up.